Hi, good day. This is Miss LM and we're back again for another math video and this is still under rational algebraic expressions and nasa operations na tayo. And we're going to start with multiplication. So, multiplying RAE is just like multiplying fractions. So, kung natatandaan nyo, the product of two fractions is a fraction whose numerator is the product of the numerators of the two fractions and whose denominator is the product of the denominators of the fractions. So, ibig sabihin, kung fraction ang pinagmultiply, fraction din ang sagot at ang numerator ay minumultiply natin sa numerator, ang denominator ay minumultiply natin sa denominator. And the steps in multiplying RA is, we have step number 1, factor the numerator and the denominator of each RA. So, kailangan daw muna natin i-factor. Step number 2, we have to divide out common factors among numerators and denominators. So, yung pag-divide out natin, it's either within the RAEs or we can do the cross cancellation. And then, on step number 3, we have multiply the numerator by the numerator and denominator by the denominator. So, these two steps can be interchange. Pwede namang mag-multiply muna tayo bago tayo mag-divide. So, kung saan kayo mas madadalian. Then, on step number 4, we have to write the product in its simplified form. Tandaan, palagi po dapat ang product ay naka-simplify. So, we have example number 1. We have 15m cubed all over 4 and to the 4th times 16n to the 6th power all over 25m to the 5th power. So, let's start in um, looking for the factors within the RAEs. Meron ba tayong makakancel out dito? So, as you can see, 15 and 4, walang common. M cube and to the 4th, walang common. Same as dito, wala din po. So, we can do the cross cancellation. 15 and 25 divisible both by 5. So, this will become 3 and this will become 5. So, 15 divided by 5 is 3. 25 divided by 5 is 5. Then, m cubed and m to the 5th. So, greatest common factor niya is m cubed. So, this will become 1. Then, m to the 5th divided by m cubed, we have m squared. Now, we have 16 and 4. Divisible sila pareho by 4. So, this is 1. 16 divided by 4 is 4. And then, n to the 4th and n to the 6th power. GCMF is n to the 4th. So, magiging 1 na lang siya. n to the 6th divided by n to the 4th, we have n squared. Now, the remaining numerator and denominator for each RAE will be 3 times 1 is 3, all over 1 times 1 is 1, times 4 times n squared. So, we have 4n squared all over 5 times m squared is 5m squared. And if we multiply the numerator by the numerator, we have 3 times 4 is 12 and then m squared all over 1 times 5m squared is 5m squared. So, this will be the final answer for our example number 1. 12n squared all over 5m squared. Wala na tayong factors na pwede pang makancel sa kanila. Example number 2, we have negative 27p squared q to the 5th all over 12 times 4p all over negative 9 q to the 7th power. Now, tingnan muna natin kung may makakancel tayo within the first RAE muna. 27 and 12, divisible sila pareho by 3. So, 27 divided by 3 is 9, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now, tingnan natin, dito po ba meron tayong pwedeng makancel? Wala na. 4 and 9, walang common factor. P and Q, walang common. So, we can do the cross cancellation na. Nakikita nyo po itong 9 at saka yung 9 ng denominator sa kabila. Yes, pwede po natin yung makancel. Pareho yung magiging 1. Yung Q to the 5th and Q to the 7th power, pwede po yung makancel. Ang Q to the 5th and GCMF, so 1 na lang yan. And then, ang Q to the 7th power, that will become Q squared. Then, another one. So, wala na tayo dun sa P. Dito naman tayo sa kabila. 4 and 4. Yes, we can cancel that. Both of them will become 1. Now, to write the remaining RAEs, so yung natira na lang natin, negative 1 times 1, P squared times 1, that is negative P squared all over, ano na lang natira, we have 1. Times, dito naman, 1 times P is P all over, 1 times Q squared, huwag kalimutan may negative tayo, so negative Q squared. Then, now, we have to multiply these two. Negative P squared times P is negative P cubed 
all over 1 times negative Q squared is negative Q squared. And, huwag nyo pong kalimutan na kapag mayroon tayong negative divided by negative, ang answer natin ay magiging positive. So, the final answer will be P cube all over Q squared. So, ito na lang po yung final answer natin for example number 2. P cube over Q squared. Okay, let's have example number 3. We have here 4x plus 12 times 15 over x plus 3. So, kung natatandaan po ninyo, itong 4x plus 12, meron niyang denominator and that is what? That is the invisible 1. So, multiply by 15 over x plus 3. So, meron ba tayong pwedeng ma-factors? Dahil polynomials na tayo, may binomial na ulit, papasok na ang factoring technique. So, in this case, meron tayong binomial. So, bago natin alamin kung alin sa binomial na factoring technique, pwede siya, alamin muna natin kung may GCMF ba. May GCMF ba si 4x plus 12? 4 and 12. Divisible both by 4. So, may GCMF siya na 4. So, cancel out natin si 4. 4x four divided by 4, we have x. 12 divided by 4, we have 3. Again, over 1 po yan. Times 15 all over x plus 3. Alin ngayon ang pwedeng makancel dito? So, pwede nating makancel by cross cancellation ang factors na x plus 3 and x plus 3. So, that will become 1. Now, ano na lang yung natira? We have 4 times 1 is 4 all over 1. Then, we have here 15 all over 1. So, now, 4 times 15, the answer is 60 over 1 or simply 60 na lang. And that will be the final answer for our example number 3. Tandaan nyo po, kapag nakakita kayo ng ganitong polynomial, automatically we can consider this as RAE. Lagyan lang natin siya ng denominator na 1. Now, for example number 4, ayan. So, we have a squared minus 2ab plus b squared all over a squared minus 1 times a minus 1 over a minus b. So, again, sabi ko nga sa inyo, since may polynomials tayo, papasok ang factoring technique. So, bago tayo mag-factor, kung binomial man yun or trinomial, tingnan muna kung may GCMF ba. Common ba yung a? Hindi. Common ba yung b? Hindi. Lahat ba may 2? Wala. So, wala siyang GCMF. Now, tingnan natin kung alin siya sa trinomials. Ano-ano ba yung sa trinomials? We have PSD or general trinomial A is equals to 1. General trinomial A is greater than 1. So, tingnan natin kung PSD siya. Yun yung una natin tanong. Paano malalaman kung PSD siya? So, tingnan natin. PSD ka ba? So, paano? Square root of A squared is A. Square root of B squared is B. If we multiply this 2, and then multiply by 2 again kasi twice the product of the square roots so 2ab 2ab ba yung ating middle term yes so ibig sabihin yes pst siya now ano yung factors niya andito na rin we have a sign of the middle term minus b squared okay and then on the denominator meron tayong a squared minus 1 binomial Meron pa bang common factor? So, wala naman tayong common. Binomial na difference at may square root. So, anong tawag natin sa factoring technique natin dyan? We have B O E S. So, get the square root of the first term. We have A. Square root of the second term. We have 1. Then, isang plus at saka isang minus. Okay? Times A minus 1 over A minus B. Alin ngayon ang common factor na pwede nating ma-cancel out? So, we can do the cross cancellation. A minus B squared, ibig sabihin meron tayong dalawang A minus B. So, pag nag-cancel tayo ng isang A minus B, so this is 1, and dito may matitira pa tayong isang A minus B. While, in this other common factor, A minus 1 and A minus 1, so 1 na lang po yan. The remaining RAEs will be A minus B over A plus 1. 
times dito ay 1 over 1 or simply a minus b over a plus 1. So, ito ngayon ang ating final answer for our example number 4. a minus b over a plus 1. Then, for the last example, we have example number 5. Ayan. So, x squared minus 7x plus 10 all over x squared plus 3x minus 10 times x squared minus 25 all over x squared minus 10x plus 25. Okay? So, factors muna tayo. Dito tayo. Uh, PST ba siya? So, trinomial, wala namang common factor. So, unang tanong, PST ba siya? Kaya lang yung 10, walang square root. So, siya ay general trinomial where A is equals to 1. Now, what are the factors of 10? At kapag pinag-add natin, ang sagot ay negative 7. So, ano lang ba ang factors ni 10? We have 5 and then 2. And kailangan natin ay negative 7 pag pinag -add. So, dapat parehong negative yan. Negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 7. So, the factors for the first numerator we have x minus 5 times x minus 2. Okay? Denominator naman tayo. Hindi siya PST kasi wala tayong square root nito. So, tingnan natin ano nga ba magiging factors. Again, ang product dapat ay negative 10 naman. Ang product ay negative 10. At ang sum ay positive 3. Kasi general trinomial ay is equals to 1. Ang sum ay positive 3. So, ibig sabihin meron tayong isang negative, isang positive. At ang greater value kailangan ay positive. So, 5 and then negative 2. Kasi, pag pinag-multiply yan, negative 10. Pag pinag-add, ayan. So, we have positive 5 plus negative 2. Subtract the absolute values. 5 minus 2 is 3. Sign of the greater value, we have positive. So, write it as factors. x plus 5, x minus 2. Okay, times. So, ito naman, numerator of our second RAE, um, difference siya, and may square root siya. So, ito ay DOTS. And, how do we get the factors of the DOTS? Square root of the first term, x squared is x. Square root of the second term, 25, we have 5. Isang plus at isang minus. And then, here on the denominator, again, may square root yung last term, may square root yung first term. Trinomial siya. So, tingnan natin kung PST nga ba siya. What is the square root of the first term? We have x. What is the square root of the last term? We have 5. x times 5 is 5x. And then, if we multiply it by 2, so the answer is 10x. And 10x yung ating middle term. So, ibig sabihin, PST siya. Yes, PST yan. Factors will be x sign of the middle term, minus 5, x minus 5, or x minus 5 squared. Ngayon, pwede na tayong mag-cross cancel or mag-divide out ng common factor. So, dito muna tayo sa una nating RAE. x minus 5, x plus 5, itong nasa baba, so hindi natin siya pwede cancel x minus 2, x minus 2, so ito yung pwede natin makancel. So, 1 na lang yan. Dito po, meron ba tayong pwedeng makancel? Again, x plus 5, x minus 5, hindi pwede. So, x minus 5, x minus 5, ito yung pwede. Okay? Now, cross cancellation. So, dito ano na lang natira? x minus 5 and 1. Dito, we have x minus 5. So, ibig sabihin, pwede pa natin itong makancel. 1 na rin lang yan. And then, another. Ito pa, x plus 5. Ito, x plus 5 din. So, pwede ulit natin yung makancel. 1 and 1. Ano na lang ang ating final answer? So, the final answer for our very complex RAE ay walang iba kundi 1. 1 times 1 over 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 over 1 times 1. So, 1 lang pala ang hinahanap nating product of our fifth RAE. Again, 1 po ang ating product for the fifth example. So, that's 
the last example for this video lesson and I hope you've learned something from this video. Give it a thumbs up kung mayroon nga ba na tutunan and huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-hit na rin ang notification bell button para ma-notify kayo kapag nakapag-upload na ako ng another video lesson. So that's all for this video. Thank you and bye-bye!